Here's the cross here. Um, I just want to say a few things before we actually get started with the video. First of all, uh, forgive the Camtasia watermark because I'm using the newest iteration of Camtasia, which I haven't bought yet, and I couldn't use my older iteration because that no longer supports sign in, and that's the version I owned, which was on my older computer, which I had to sell off in order to pay off some stuff. Secondly, um, <coughs> I guess there's going to be a um, random cut in uh, the middle of the recording because I got interrupted. Because, of course, living on my own doesn't make me immune to interruptions. Yeah. So there's going to be uh, just a random cut because of that. So I just wanted to explain that. So, yeah. With that being said, let's get on with the video, shall we? Okay, greetings YouTube. Um, okay, kind of didn't want to post a video like this, but it's gotten to the point where I absolutely have to respond. Because some of the shit that's been said is pretty ridiculous. Especially from those in the alphabet fucking mafia. You know the types that I oppose on a regular basis. Especially on places like Twitter. Yes, you hear me right. On fucking Twitter. The unhinged Looney Tunes who actually believe that men can be women. And, I'm not kidding. <clears throat> they actually think men belong in biological women's faces. It's sickening. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. And the worst part about this is they know full fucking well they are doing everything they can to erode any differences between male and female and trying to make all oh, I identify as therefore I am Okay Two can play at that game two can have that delusion I identify as a one-eyed one horned flying purple people eater Does that mean I'm that? No No the fuck it does not So why would I accept a biological man as a woman? Seriously, think about that for two seconds. We're at the point where biological men aren't even trying to hide the fact that there are men anymore. I mean, we've had quite a few YouTubers covering that <coughs> Planet Fitness controversy, so I don't think I really need to um, weigh much in on that. But the synopsis is a man went into the locker room of, uh, well, the opposite gender, one that he should not be in. So, you know, he's doing his thing, shaving and shit like that. Of course, this is ignoring the fact that we have minors in there as well, who should not be exposed to this kind of shit. But, <clears throat> my stance on this has been intentionally conflated with the we are with Chucky Conroy movement. Or in my case, <coughs> we stand with Chucky Conroy. There was an entire document about this, but I'm only gonna be <coughs> I'm only gonna be responding to that which I mentioned. Because honestly, my opposition to this disgusting cult has nothing to do with the movement whatsoever. And it has been done, well, it's been conflated in order to muddy the water. The document will be in the description, but just know I'm only going to be responding to that of what I mentioned in. Because honestly, there's someone else has been mentioned in it. I'm not going to mention it in this video, but it is mentioned in the doc, so, so keep that in mind. I'm only going to say this briefly. <clears throat> the enemy of my enemy is not my friend, but let's ignore that. Speaking of morality, there is someone who, nameless, chose to be with since Gen all of a sudden since the beginning of January. And of course, there are screenshots showing my posts or comments. Getting personal help doesn't dissolve any it doesn't dissolve it is, is innocence, which it doesn't. There's also the comment and, I guess, reposting of my petition, 
which is at 181 signatures. Hooray! But, this is where things get a bit dirty. <coughs> My comment to reply. This is relevant. How? <coughs> the context of that was cut deliberately, as this was in response to a link about President Biden. I asked how that is relevant to the movement. Of course, I got nothing in response. Because it's not relevant in any way, shape, or form. Now there is my own personal politics. Which, of course, is America first, American first values, traditional family values, those kinds of things. <clears throat> Another out of context quote is, This is in reference to mob mentality, like harassing others for hours on end and even throughout the months. And thus I say this, that's how the mob operates. Which, of course, it's obvious. <clears throat> and here's or the part where I'm referred to as a phobe. <clears throat> Put your money where your mouth is and stop. Yeah, sure. But here's the post that I made. And this is from Libs of TikTok. If you call this person a man in Scotland, you will be arrested. How soon until this comes to America? And I said, it's only a matter of time of w it's only a matter of when unless we stop it. I say that <clears throat> as it is absolutely disgusting to jail someone for using their own judgment. It's a man with makeup wearing earrings. Calling that a man is a gross, absolutely fucking gross violation of free speech. Not only that, but you are forcing someone to judge you a certain way. That is not acceptable. I don't want to hear any excuses. There is no justification to force someone to judge you a certain way. That is why I shared the post and said what I said. It's irritating to say the fucking least. Our this fucking neck deep in authoritarianism and fuck all done about it. There's also <coughs> the LGB alliance who has nothing to do with the rest of the alphabet soup. But that's fine. A movement who wants to separate themselves from a cult-like fucking mafia? I support that. But here's the thing. Also, this post, which is shared as an image, LGB without the TQ. Accept yourself as you are. <coughs> Your same-sex attraction is not a choice. Sexuality is about sex. All that is true. A TQ plus is hate yourself and change your body. That's not very body positive. As an FYI. <clears throat> your same sex attraction is a genital preference. How is that wrong? Sexuality is a spectrum, but you know it is not. There are three sexualities. Straight, I'm sorry, heterosexual, homosexual, 
and bisexual. And even bisexuals take one at the end of the day. And that choice is usually made post-puberty. Yes, you heard me right, post-puberty. And that choice is usually made with consent. Like, these fucking creeps, these fucking predators don't believe in. Hell, I see people. Spidal say, oh, you're transphobic if you won't date me. Fuck you, motherfucker. No one is afraid of you because they don't want to date you. No one is fucking phobic because they refuse, they refuse to affirm you. The thing with tolerance and acceptance is they are people to leave them alone. Like, all well and good. But that goes completely out the fucking window when you push them to affirm you at every goddamn opportunity. Every goddamn fucking second. That message goes completely out the fucking window. It's more shit like this. It's why I pose the alphabet. Goddamn fucking mafia. Fuck you if you're in favor of this cult. <clears throat> God. But this gets even worse going further into it. Well, yeah, we haven't even gotten to the nitty gritty. Your brain rocks not to be quote unquote trans. Believe anything said about so called gender experts. Believe the propaganda that changes by the month. It does change by the month all the fucking time, so it's not even consistent. Detransitioners and any reports of extreme danger of transitioning. Detransitioners are often swept under the rug and outright censored. They aren't even fucking heard. But it gets even worse going further into it. This. This is an image of a grown man. Let me just make that perfectly clear. Grown man, mind you. Dressing as a baby in a crib. With what flag on the wall? How is that not disgusting? How is that not fucked up? Seriously, answer that. A adult dressing as a fucking baby. <sighs> this cult makes me so angry. I swear to fucking God. But. <clears throat> I believe that was the second worst thing in this document. <clears throat> I reposted a post where like a flag and the image is call me silly but sticking your penis in another man's butthole does not merit a special flag or month long celebration. And the caption was, veterans only get one day. And even on that day, they get villainized. It goes on and on. And, uh... This... <coughs> is also completely irrelevant. It's a post I shared where <clears throat> whites are constantly being demonized. Like, we are constant racist against white people. The post is this. <clears throat> whites did not invent slavery. Whites ended slavery. No guilt, no apologies. In other words, don't feel guilty about being fucking white. That was the point of the post. That is why I shared. 
And no, I'm not gonna be saying I shared that. I mean, fuck. I want to bring up one thing that's especially important here. Lives matter. If you need to comment from those two words, you're a racist. Which applies to this post right here. And that's about all that was shared on the document itself. It'll be in the low bar just so that you know I'm not talking out of my ass or anything like that. But this, this pisses me off beyond belief. It pisses me off or we're constantly making excuses for the Alphabet Mafia to constantly fuck with our daily lives, force uncomfortable shit on us, and everything else in between. Win. But I refuse to stand down or back down from my stances. It goes against this message right here. Stand up for what you believe in, even if it means standing alone. The Alphabet Mafia is a greater enemy than anybody. I've talked about during the Kyoge Conroy situation. They have a vapid interest in wrecking our culture, destroying our country as it is. And it's because of this cult, less people are having families. Especially on the grounds that not only are kids being groomed into this because they are impressionable beings, but Owing to the fact that so, that so many more people who otherwise would not be infertile are becoming infertile and thus cannot have kids. And it's creating so much fucking confusion throughout the country where, uh, who do I even go to for the sake of having a family? Uh, I... It's gross. Absolutely gross. Ah! I apologize for all the yelling I did in this video, <clears throat> but still, this shit drives me off the fucking wall. And calling someone phobic for opposing this cult. It's not going to get anybody on your side. If anything, it's going to create more well-deserved enemies. Ugh. Thank you for listening to everything I had to say. Again, the document will be in the low bar, so you can judge for yourself. And I'll see you in the next video.